Hello Intune friends, not so much Intune in this video, we continue, so we want to make this uh, go away. We don't want the user need to have to click on run, it should run automatically. And in the previous video we shown how to do IE mode to uh, display a web page in Internet Explorer mode in Edge. We also installed Java and we created this exception site list and uh, allow certain uh, URLs to run with um, less uh, restriction. Now we just want to remove this one. So uh, I'm not going to explain all the steps so much because you, if you do this, you probably do it once in your life. So it's nothing really, and it's no transfer effect if you, this is only for Java. But we're going to need Java JDK. That's different from the Java we have installed. JDK stands for Java Development Kit. So let's see if we can find that. And I'm okay to not go with the latest for that. Uh, I'm gonna actually cancel this one. So this one's gonna fail. If we did run, it would have shown the happy face, right? Let's open a new tab. So we can take any Java 8 JDK. I'm gonna take one uh, a URL that I happily share in this description of this video. It's not the latest, it's a pretty recent one, 341, depending from when you watch this. And again, you need license for this version if you're using it for a commercial. Perfect. And there's nothing how to install, just run next, next. Or actually we're gonna be a bit selective because we don't actually need uh, so much. We just need the development tools. So we don't need the public GRE, it's the one uh, we have uh, installed. Uh, I don't need any source code either, I just want the development tools. Perfect, it's going to install here because it's a 64-bit JDK. Okay, perfect. We install that. That should go fairly quick. Perfect, no next step. So now we have the JDK open and let me open a new CMD. And very important, you started as an administrator. So why uh, I haven't explained why we need the JDK. We're going to create a rule list who's going to say, if it's this URL, always run it and with this version. And that's in order to not get that pop-up that we got. So for that, let's go into uh, JDK first. So program files, uh, is it Java? Uh, Java. Let's go here. Look what we have there. There we have, uh, let's see the JDK and under bin. So here we have the tools that we need. And we're going to create a rule set to file. It's going to be an XML file. XML, uh, XML, extensible markup language. It's sort of like HTML. You create tags and put data between. You're going to see. We do a quick one here. So we're going to save it here. And I actually have um, a format for it. So I save that here. And I'm going to put that in the description of this video so you also can get it. So it is... Um, this is just a comment, so you can put anything between here, so it will be totally ignored. Here you see it says rule set, and it's closed with this forward slash rule set down here. And between here, you can create as many rules as you want. Let's create uh, three rules for us. See if it, uh, nope, it didn't look uh, so good. Let me, when I paste, stand all the way here. That looks better. I do one more row. So here we have three rules for different sites. So the page that we want to run, it's still our Java page here. And you need to include HTTPS. So I'm going to copy all this. So the rule is going to be, if the location is this site here, then permission run. You know we got the pop-up in the last video and you saw in the beginning where it asked us to run. Then we're going to say which version. Well, since we don't know exactly which version we're going to have all the time, we can do an asterisk on this one. So it's always going to be Java 8, any version. And I'll keep this one as it is, uh, GBN 
that's not a real site, just to um, show that we can have more. And even though Bing uh, doesn't have any Java, let's add the Bing.com, totally worthless. The only thing we want is the top one here, but I just add this, yeah, because that's, um, so we see we can have multiple. Quick recap. Uh, you just need this part here. You put your URL here. The permission, you probably want it to run. You can have block another value, but we want to run. Which version of Java? Well, since we know it's going to be Java 8, but we don't know which version. Well, if you hard code your version, you can have kept it before, but asterisk says it's going to allow any. So let's save this one. I didn't open this one. Maybe it'll allow me to add in admin mode because we're going to save this one to location where we don't have uh, permission uh, as a normal user. Hopefully it's going to give us this. So we go C, pro C. let's go program files. So we want to go to our uh, uh, Java JDK, Java, our JDK under bin. So the URL, that went a bit fast. Um, so it's the same directory as we are here. Here, C program file, Java, JDK, uh, the version number, bin. Here we want to save the file. What do we want to save it as? All file types, I like that. So we call it rule set.xml. Over case, so we save this one. Let's see if it says, uh, it doesn't let me save there again. Okay, I'll save it in documents and then move it. So now, I have a few tabs open here already. Let's go to documents. Here we have our rule set. Let's copy this one. We can look how it looks like in uh, Edge. This is a uh, XML file. So you can close the opening. Um, so this is the opening and you close it with a forward slash. So this is uh, one section and the rule set, it's closed down here. So you can close it all the way here. Okay, so the XML looks to be good uh, formatted. So we have copied the files, and now I want to copy this one. Where? Well, program files, we said right. Program files, Java, JDK folder, and bin. So let's copy it here. And it's I right click, and I paste it, and it's gonna say, hey, you need to be admin, because everything under uh, program, and f program files need that. Perfect, so now we have our rule set. And now we're gonna transform this one to a YAR file that uh, Java can read. And those commands, I don't know them by heart, so I'm gonna take them and they're gonna be in the description also. So I have them here in this file. So we're gonna run these ones. I'm gonna explain a bit what they do. do. So I copy this first line here. So if we just look at the first command we're going to run, that's going to be jar.exe. If we do forward slash question mark, we can see a bit what this command does. We're going to use specify archive, the file name, v, and I thought, is it a lowercase c, create new archive. So that was just a quick, if you are very interested in what the jar file does. So now I paste the command we're actually going to run. So we do jar, we could have put .exe here the three switches I quickly show there. We're going to create this file, deployment rule set .yar, based on the rule set XML file. So let's hit enter here and let it do that. There, hit enter. So if we look now in um, File Explorer, we should now, if we look at date modify, we now have a deployment rule set yar, who's built out of rule set. The only problem with this file now is that it's not signed, so uh, uh, Java will not read it. So that's what the next command is going to be about. That was the next command going to be about. And the next command going to be, we're going to use another key tool, which is in the same folder there, bin, who's going to create a self-signed certificate that is valid from the year 2000 and a lot of uh, days forward. So it's going to be good for many, many years. You could start from another date than 2000, but this works. Let's run this. So now we need to 
create the G, uh, key store password. It can be anything, but please remember, I'm gonna, normally you don't say password, of course, I'm gonna call it GBN2023, capital GBN, not specially secure. And it's gonna ask me to repeat that. And you take, and here it's gonna ask, uh, this is for the certificates, the first name, here you can put your company. I'll, I'll do that. GB, um, GBN soft. What's the name of your organization unit? Let's call it GBN. What's the name of your organization? I call GBN also. City, I'll take my Paris office. And what's the state or province? It's uh, Ile-de-France. Oh, that's the state. FR for France. You put your country. This is not that important. Be sure to put yes here. If you hit enter, it's no. It's going to re-ask you for everything. Okay, and it wants the password. I put the same. It's not that important. I mean, it's not an important certificate we're creating. We get a little warning. It still works, so you can still... Uh, no issue. So now we have created our certificate. Now we're going to use this certificate. No, nope, we're going to export it to a file first. Sorry. Here we're going to use the same key tool and export it to file. And when we export it to this file, we're going to use this file to sign the jar file. You don't really have to understand what this means. It just has to be. Uh, that looks like I'm running the same command again. Did I not copy what I needed? Uh, to be sure, I want this one here. So I do a control C, copy. Go back and now paste it. Yep, that looks better. So now we export and we're going to create um, a file called selfsign.cert. And to do that, we need to put the same password as we put before. So now we have exported. So normally we should see one more file. Yep, this is the store. Here's the certificate. I mean, we could double click on and look at this one. It's not trusted by anything yet. We're going to change that very soon. So that's my GBsoft uh, certificate. And remember, it's not trusted and we're going to fix that. So the last one, now we're going to use this self-signed certificate and sign this deployment rules set jar. Or actually, before we do that, let's trust this certificate for fun. So how to trust it? It's to use cert util and then add it to the root store. So we're nearly going to run this uh, command. We're going to modify it a bit. So if we haven't signed the jar file yet. And since we are in the same folder as the self sign, I'm just gonna do a dot back, backslash to say, hey, look in the same folder. So search unit, we add it to the root store and it had been completely done. So let's see now if we open the certificate, you remember last time it was not trusted. You see now it is trusted and it's valid from year 2000 until 2049. So it's going to be good for many years, longer than you will need Oracle Java, trust me. Okay, and let's finish. And then I will uh, show one more stuff about the certificate. So we have one more line to run, right? We have to actually sign our, our deployment rule set jar because it was not signed before. So I'm copy the last line and run it here so now we're signing it and we need again to put the password gbn 2023 but you have your first password yeah it says it's self-signed we know that so now this file let me show it come on there uh deployment rule set your now this one is signed first we have the rule set we turn it into deployment rule set your then we created the certificate and now we have signed this so let's verify this certificate that we looked at earlier. So if we do cert and we want the one for machine, yes, manage computer certificate. Make this one a bit bigger. We expand this one and we want to see trusted road certificate authorities. Ah, the second one here. 
If we look through this list, it's going to be a big one. But you see, here's the one we created. Whatever name you put it, you're going to see here. So here is the GBN soft. That's the certificate, the same one as we've seen before. So the command, when we added it to the root, that adds it here. OK, a lot, a lot, a lot about uh, certificate and things. This uh, very advanced video for something that you will only use if you use Oracle Java. You probably just do it once. Well, if you need to add more URLs later, you just add them to the rule set and regenerate this one and resign it. OK, so this file here, we want to copy. And we want to copy to where? Well, Windows, that the folder that we created in the previous video, Sun, Java, and Deployment, here. Paste it here. Before I paste it, though, I just want to remember you what it looks like when we went to uh, uh, configure Java. So here on the Security tab, Verify under Exception Cyclist, it's nothing, right? It's empty. After we add this file, we're going to see a, a list there. So I en exit this one, and now we paste our uh, file, deployment rule set .yar. Now it's there, hopefully signed. So if we now open configuration Java, you remember on the security I said it was empty? Well, not anymore. If we click here, you recognize this file. Uh, it's extremely common that you get an error here that you can't read it. That could be because the XML is not correctly. Maybe you're missing um, double quotation. It's not closed correctly or something else. If we view certificate details, we're going to see our friend the GBN soft again. So this means now that we have a rule. If we go to this URL, it shouldn't even ask to run. So if we restore security prompts, restore all, if we and we have this one in the exception cyclist also, so we even allow to run. I'm going to close all browsers. If we now start Edge and we go to Java test, it should just work without any pop-ups. Happy face! So we don't we don't get the hey do you want to run? And this is good for the end users. Um, so very advanced video, but I think if you're using, not I think, I know, if you're running Oracle uh, Java in the web browser, this is good stuff for you. If you're not using it, yeah, this is totally worthless. Uh, next video, and we're soon finished because now we have done, why I always type Oracle, it's um, Java. Uh, configure. Next video, we're going to look at some of these advanced settings here. You have a lot of settings here, and maybe you want to set some of them. For example, maybe you want to have this value like that or like. And that's what we're going to configure in the next video. Thank you so much for following along this video. We created the rule set to allow to run, so less pop up for the user. Thank you very much, and see you in the next video.